Sweater Game Foul History and Physical Characteristics. Article courtesy of one of the breeds of game fowl most in demand today are the sweaters. There are several versions of how they originated. The following account of their origin is straight from the horse's mouth. It comes from Johnny Jumper and another respected cocker who knew the parent fowl, when, where and by whom they were bred. The following is their version how the sweaters originated. Sweater McGuinness gave Walter Kelso a yellow-legged hatch cock whose bloodlines are thought to trace back to Harold Brown's McLean hatch. Mr. Kelso bred this cock to his Kelso hens and the offspring from the mating proved to be outstanding pit cocks. Cecil Davis, who was a friend of Mr. Kelso, walked cocks for him and had access to Mr. Kelso's best fowl. Cecil got one of the cocks which Mr. Kelso raised from the sweater McGuinness hatch cock and his own hens. Cecil got this cock from Doc Robinson, who also walked cocks for Mr. Kelso. The cock was yellow-legged and pea-combed. Cecil bred him to five of his out-and-out -out Kelso hens. The offspring from this mating were the foundation of the sweaters. They were called sweaters because the hatch cock from Sweater McGuinness was their grandfather. As the above indicates, in breeding, they would be three quarters Kelso minus one quarter yellow legged hatch. The original sweaters were bred by Ira Parks, who was Johnny Jumper's brother in law, a very fine man and an excellent breeder of game fowl. Ira, Johnny, and Cecil were at the hub of a group of cockers in northern Mississippi and Tennessee who were friends and cocking partners. Several of this group got sweaters from the original mating. Some of these friends have bred the sweaters without addition of outside blood and have them in their purity today. Other breeders have added infusions of other blood to their sweaters. The line of sweaters which is bringing the breed such popularity today came from Roy Brady, who got some of the first mating of sweaters, to Sonny Ware, to Otis Chappelle, to Carol Nesmith and the Browns of Mississippi. Otis Chappelle let a number of friends in addition to Carol, have his sweaters, so the blood has been distributed rather widely in central Alabama in recent years. It has been excellent blood for all who got it. This line of sweaters produces occasional green-legged offspring, usually pullets. When asked about his, Roy Brady said that at one time some hatch was bred into this line. This line is said also to carry small amount of radio blood. The sweaters described in this article are typically orange-red to light red in color, with yellow legs and pea combs. Of interest, however, Dolan Owens of Boonville, Mississippi, acquired some of the early sweaters and has bred them to come uniformly dark, wine red in color, straight comb and white-legged. In looks, these two lines of sweaters show almost no resemblance. This is an example of how a family of fowl can be bred toward different standards by different breeders and in a few generations the two lines will be like two different breeds. Sunny Ware bred some radio into the sweaters making them pumpkin in color. Most people like this color better and breed to that end. Disclaimer. No copyright infringement intended. All music, picture and videos inserted belongs to the rightful owner for educational documentary and entertainment purpose only.